This is the plaintiff, Evita Savala. She says the defendant, her girlfriend of seven months, borrowed money from her because she needed a car and promised to pay it back once her tax refund came in. Sure enough, the defendant didn't stick to the plan. They split up and she's yet to see her money. She knows it wouldn't be a good idea to take the law into her own hands, so she's suing the defendant in this court for the $2,892 she's owed. This is the defendant, Fantasia LaTanya Petit. She says the plaintiff got upset they split up and trashed her car. Now it's going to cost her 1800 bucks to get a new engine. And it's all the plaintiff's fault. And it'll be a cold day in you know where before she gives the plaintiff a dime. She's accused of disappointing a girlfriend. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated. Come to order, please. Let us have Ms. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Evita Zavala. Yes. You are suing Fantasia Latanya Pettit? Petit. Petit. For $2,892 that you say she owes you uh, in several loans that she hasn't repaid, one of them for a car that mm -hmm. you bought her, uh, and for lost wages and you having to come to court to sue. Tell yes. me what's going on. Um, I loaned her some money to purchase How did you two meet? Uh, actually, we had mutual friends on Facebook, and she sent me a friend request. We started talking, and then we started hanging out. That's how we met. Okay. And um, how? Did, but and she moved in with you? Uh, not technically. She was staying between my house and another friend of hers' house. Okay. And how long did you not technically live together? <laughs> uh, about maybe four months. Not very long. Yeah. And how soon did she not technically move in with you after you met each other on Facebook? Uh, like two months after we was hanging out because she had um, a situation where she had lost her place and I helped out plenty of my friends so I didn't mind. It wasn't like just because we was talking that I okay. did this for her. All right. So you dated for what? A total of what? Six months? We were just seeing each other but yeah. Okay. Um, you were just seeing each other meaning it wasn't exclusive? I mean we wasn't like officially girlfriends but okay. we was seeing each other pretty heavily. All right. And then a time comes when she says to you she wants a car. Um, no, she was talking to, to her friend, the other friend that she was staying in between. She mostly had her stuff at that person's house. Was that person in a relationship with her? Not that I'm aware of, but I mean, I don't okay. know. <laughs> um, she had her belongings at that person's house, but she had mostly been staying by my house. Okay. Um, that person was supposed to give her like $5,000 when she got some type of settlement to purchase her a vehicle. Okay. So in between the time she was staying at my address, um, I was helping her look for a car because I work on cars. So she wanted me to go with her to look at the car to make sure it was a good car to get. When you so, say you work on cars, you're a mechanic? Yes. Okay. I'm a mechanic on the side. On the side. You're I'm, an alley mechanic. Uh, that's what you want to call it. <laughs> no, I don't know. Where do you, when you're a mechanic I work in my on the garage, side, you got to so. travel, I guess. <laughs> All um, right. But yeah, then I had... um. We was looking on, for cars online or whatnot. She found a car that she liked. She um, asked me to go with her to check it out and then borrowed the money from me to purchase it. So she had, she, you knew she was gonna be asking you for the money? She had already asked you for the money to purchase it? Uh, not originally. Originally this person was supposed to give her the money, but then when we talked about it, I didn't mind loaning her the money because it was supposed to be only like two days within that she was yeah. supposed to give me back the you money. You knew this woman for how long before you made a decision that well, was I had, to make her a loan of Three thousand something dollars. Yeah, that's true. You had known her what? I've helped, like I said, a lot of my friends. It doesn't I, matter. What? How wise is it to loan money not, to a complete stranger who you not. have known? I don't care how pretty she is. You know that you've known uh, for what? I mean, unless you're willing to let it go, but you're not because you're here in court. Right. So how wise <laughs> is that money to just to toss that money at somebody you don't, you barely know, because uh, they said, "Oh, don't worry, I'll pay it back." How'd that work out for you? I mean, I'm here, so. That's right. <laughs> I wouldn't know you if it had worked out for you. All right, so you loan her the money. Yes. She buys the car, and what happens? That was, was buys the car what day? Let's, uh, it was on let's the, dissect it to the day. It was on the 12th of February, I believe. February 12th. Yes. Okay. Wait, no, I might have been the 13th. I'm not positive. I think it was on the 12th, though. Okay. 12th or 13th that you bought the car? 13th. 13th, 13th of February. And then? And then um, she was supposed to give me the money back because the friend of hers that was supposedly giving her the thousand five thousand dollars. Why was some friend giving you five thousand dollars? 
um, she won a settlement and she got like 160,000 and she, that was my best friend. So she was like, when I get a settlement, I'm going to give you $5,000. Basically you could do what you want with it. You get your apartment or whatever. I said, I wanted to buy a car. Okay. So, so your friend was going to give you $5,000 just cause you're her friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You picked the right friend. <laughs> you picked the right friend. If that's true. Otherwise she may have just snowed you into buying her a car. Right. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. What Did saying. you know the other friend? Um, I met her a couple of times, but I don't really know. Did her. you ever discuss with her this whole 5,000 gift thing? Uh, or? no. Right. <laughs> okay. So is there any corroboration of it whatsoever? Uh, we did talk afterwards. I mean, with once, the other friend. Yes. And did the other friend acknowledge that, uh, if I get a settlement, I'm supposed to give her 5,000 just um, for existing? She did mention that to me that she was supposed to give her some money. Um, I don't know what agreement they had with each other, but she did mention that she actually, she told me that she would reimburse me for her not paying, but then she never came through either. Yeah, that which, didn't work out either, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so when you loan her this money, do you get her in writing in a promissory note? Uh, not at that particular Why not? time, no. Why not? Um, like I said, she was pretty much staying at my address, so I didn't really think nothing of it. She didn't have too many places else to go. What difference does that make? It don't really make a difference. <laughs> right? Because like, you want a record of having loaned somebody money and that they don't say it was a gift. She was trying to buy my love. I didn't right? see her as a shysty individual at the time. but You didn't see her as that? No, ma'am. You should see everyone as that. I see and then that be now. pleasantly surprised when they're not. I it's not that, that hard. You grab the nearest crayon and the nearest roll of toilet paper, Look at me when I'm talking and you write it down. And if you're too embarrassed to write it down, which you shouldn't be, then you email or text and you get some evidence of it. Now, she's not denying that you loaned her the money. She's saying something entirely different, which I can't wait to hear. OK, she says that you have basically damaged her to that amount. So it's even because according to her, you sabotaged her angry that she left you. The plaintiff and the defendant met on Facebook. They hooked up for a few months and the plaintiff started giving the defendant money for a car. It's the oldest story in the dating book. Let's listen. When did you realize that she wasn't coming back and that you weren't really gonna hang out together? And um, it was within days of us. Days of the purchase of the car. Yeah. Days. In fact, but, if the purchase of the car was February 13th, it was February 15th. Huh? Well, I'm looking at your texts. You submitted your texts, right? Um, I actually have, yeah, some of the texts. Oh, okay. And does, doesn't it begin on February 15th where there's like, I don't know why you're giving me this attitude. I don't know. Oh, why. That's when she started being. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, you know, obnoxious. Yeah, two so days, 48 hours. That's how long it took. Well, she got her car. What else do you want? Well, at that She's time done. she didn't have the vehicle, but yeah, I purchased it for her. All right. And the vehicle was where? At my address at that time. And why hadn't she taken the vehicle with her when she left your house? Um, because she was supposedly coming back. And like I said, we were still talking at that moment. Now, according to and you, then, the reason why you hadn't is because she was supposed to do some mechanical work on it. Mm -hmm. All right. So then at some point there begins a series of texts between you guys that are have a lot of animosity. OK, and now one, two, three, four, five days pass and she won't give you the car until you give her the money and well, that's you not can't really, come up with the money. That's not really what happened. I told her that I wasn't going to come get the car until she got her money. I was trying to be fair to let her know that I wasn't well, trying to run off. Well, that's figured. Right, we made a verbal I wasn't agreement. Trying I mean, to, who's going to get a car without paying for it? I mean, at this point, she's I got mean, the marbles. She was telling had me. Had you I registered could, the car? Yes. You had registered it in your name already? Yes, I did that the very next day. But she was telling me, like, it's okay. Like, I could get the car. She wasn't trying to keep me from having the car. But I don't I see that like, in any of the texts. Of course, she probably wouldn't show that. In what any do you have of the text? I got my phone no. with me. We, that wasn't what? in text. That was in us talking over the phone. Do you have texts though with her? Yeah, but my phone isn't right here. But I contacted her because me and my friend ended up getting into our argument. So Which one? I, the one that was going to give you five thousand dollars yes. for being nice? Yes. Oh, yeah. in the argument so we with ended up, maybe we shouldn't up. count on money that we don't have mm -hmm. that someone just says they're going to give us. So we end up getting an argument. Just because someone says they're going to give you money doesn't mean they're going to, right? True. Yeah. And I, I talk I, to usually when people there. get money, they want it for themselves. <laughs> I believed her because she wasn't that type of How'd that work out yeah. for you? <laughs> you didn't earn that money. Why should she even give you the money? And when she comes to her senses and decides, you know what? I'd rather have the $5,000 instead of sp spreading it around to everyone who's ever been nice to me. I mean... In any event, that doesn't matter. What you end up going, you have not paid for the car. Your friend didn't give you the money. And then on the 20th, according to you, you come to the house and you call the police, correct? Mm -hmm. 
and why? What was your objective? Okay, so we, we we were still cool. We were talking. Everything was fine. And that's when I got into it with my friend. I was like, can I come get the car? Because I have to go get my stuff. So Wait, I even asked who? her. Vita. I even asked her, like, if, if you don't want to give me the car, can I use your van? Or if you don't want to give me the what? van, can do you, you go? Do you work? Do you no. support yourself or everybody's got to give you everything all the time? What's up with that? No. Why are you yes. laughing? Because that's You're the sucker is. giving her everything. What are you talking yeah, about? You're yeah. one of the suckers in the lines waiting to give her stuff. No. If I were you, I wouldn't laugh. The rest of us can giggle. Go ahead. So I, um, I'm like, well, you can even sit in the car with me if you think I'm running off. I just want to go get my stuff so I can be done with her and that's it. So she goes into, you broke up with me. I don't have to give you anything. I don't owe you anything. I'm not obligated to help you. But we were just cool. We were just friends before that. So that kind of made me feel like she was being spiteful because we broke up. So I'm like... She's like, you're not getting anything. This is my car. It's not coming off my property. I'm like, legally, the car is mine. If I wanted to get the car, I could have been had the car, but I didn't want to be like that. So she's like, well, you're not taking it off my property. This is my car. I've paid the money for this car. So that kind of made me mad. So then the police came and basically said legally that I could take the car. It was mine. She couldn't hold it, but I didn't have insurance. So they wouldn't let me take it off her property. Is that her, accurate? They wouldn't let her drive it off my property. The police officer uh, told her to get the car towed and get herself some insurance. She didn't do that. No. Police no. So officer then what happened? Told me, the police officer told me to come back with insurance and a tow truck. So what did you do? You left the no. car parked in front of her house? Yeah. I in asked front of my I garage. Said, well, I didn't, I didn't trust it there because she works on cars and I didn't trust to leave it there. Now I know she was mad. So they was like, well, that's when they told me, well, go get you some insurance and then come back with the tow truck or something and move the car. Well, you can go with the tow truck by that second. Well, you don't need the insurance if you're just going to tow the car. I was trying to get the insurance. And at what? that point, yeah, That's because you want to drive it insurance. off instead of paying for it. Because what you're going to pay the tow truck, you could get a couple months insurance. And right. So at that point, it was just like, forget it. I didn't even want to go through with it anymore. I didn't want to argue with her. So I just left it there. Like, she's already was suing me. Whatever. We'll just go to court. And after court, take it from there. But you changed uh, your mind. Mm -hmm. And at some point, you decide to, to follow up and get the car, and what happens? So then the next day, something was just like, go get your car, go get your car. Who so, said that? In my head. Oh, your head. Was telling your me, <laughs> go get my car. Okay. <laughs> so, do you work? Um, yeah. I, what do you do? I, I work at Wrigley Field. Okay, go ahead. So um, I went to her house, and I texted her, like, um, I'm coming on your lunch break to get my car. She says I don't have it. I said, well, where is it? She says the police have it. So I called the police station. They said that basically she called and said that it was a car blocking her driveway and to come get it. She didn't did know who the car was. Did you call police and tell them to tow the car? I didn't tell them to tow the car, but I did say that it was blocking well, my driveway. Well, what is the point of calling them if not well, to have that, them do that was something? what I expected. I yes. just want to complain that there's a car blocking my driveway. I don't want you to do anything. I just want to complain <laughs> no, to you. No, that was what I expected out of it, yes. But What'd I you didn't, expect? Yeah, so I you obviously called. It wouldn't happen if you hadn't called. She didn't so take the car. So you called and you got them to tow the car off of your property. What'd you tell them? Did you tell them you didn't know who this car belonged to? This was a whole day later. No, I didn't tell them that. I said, it's not my car. It's blocking my driveway. It's not my car. It needs driveway the somebody abandoned their car on my driveway no but oh the police. my gosh <laughs> welcome back to the people's court rv 11 here so is meeting people on facebook dicier than meeting people say in a bar yes why do you say because you can't see who they are or their face you can't get pictures right well yes but they may not be true so you think a, as a bar a safer way, more reliable way of meeting people? Yeah, I think you get to know them a little more personally than online. Okay, fair enough. Going, I, I'm actually surprised. I thought they would go the other way, going inside the courtroom. The police so, told her to have the car towed. She didn't do that. I let it stay there the whole night, the whole day. The next morning, I did call the police and have them. Was this at, before or after you sent her the text that said, oh, you want to play this nice and legal? Now we're going to play it nice and legal. You got mad that she called the cops to your house. I did. I got pissed. Right. Excuse and then after life. that, you send her some text saying, so now you want to do this all legal on me? Like calling the cops? Well, now we're going to do this yeah. nice and legal. So you called the cops right. and had them tow her car. Yes. Which really, you paid for it. Yes. So now there's just more money on top of it. Yes. Right? But we had Cause, a So it gets towed. And do you take it out of impound? Yes. I'll pay How for do you it take it out, out of impound? impound? She paid for it. Get Thank out! You. <laughs> Get out! You paid take it out of impound because i did feel a little bit bad after i talked no, to her because you realize 
that your investment was going down the drain, that you were no, cutting your really. nose off. To, what are you clapping about? That no, you were cutting your nose off to spite your face. Not because really. every day it's an impound is another day's worth of charges for storage and storage and storage. This. So all it does is the one thing you can do is repossess the car. And now you can't do that because it, I'll show you. Pick up the car, officers. I don't know where this. Somebody beamed a car onto my driveway. I have no idea who this belongs to or what this is. Get this car out of here. So it gets towed. Wait, so you actually call her and say, I can't believe you towed my car. Can I borrow money? No. Get it out? How'd that work out? No, I called her and <laughs> she's like, oh, I'm sorry. No, and I didn't say that. Go ahead. You tell me. I want to hear from you. She's like, I'm sorry. I did impound it. I'll give you the money. I'll help you out as long as you write up, sign the letter saying that you're going to pay me back. So at that point, I'm like, why should I have to pay you back for something that you did? You caught the toe. You had it impounded. Why do I have to pay you back? But did that, you sign a letter saying you yes, pay her I back did. on that $500? Yes, oh, my I gosh. Did. So now where's the car? I have it now. Okay. You've been driving it? Um, not really. Why? it's messed up. It's messed up? Yes. What's it messed up? Well, when I got the car back, there was no oil in it at all. Like, we took the oil off to put the oil in, and it was smoke coming out. So they're like, how is it possible that this car has no oil? So when I finally talked to my mechanic, he's like, it seemed as if somebody drained out the oil, put it on and just sat and reared the car. Like, I'm like, how is that possible if when she got the car, she checked it out. I didn't do anything. I don't know anything about cars. Yeah, we found that so she checked oily. the oil. Stop talking over. She checked, she checked the oil. She checked under the hood. She even test drove it. She gave me the okay to get the car. So when you test it, when you check this car, it was fine for you to buy, for me to get it. Now it's been at your house for almost a month. No one has driven it, but there's no oil in it. How is that possible? So anyway, to get to get the oil changed, he had to take out the oil plug, replace it, put oil in it, and whatever. So the first thing he said to me when he got the car was, "Did he think I, that some, did I think someone put something in my tank?" At first, I'm thinking like she wouldn't do that. She's not that type of person. Did you but, put sugar in her tank? No, I wouldn't so, do that. Well, I don't know. You're the one who cut your nose off to spite your face by calling the impound, and then that. you end up paying for it. But I would admit why to would my you pay pops, for it? I admit to things I've done wrong. I wouldn't what, do Why would you account. pay for it? Were you trying to get back with her? No. Do you think she was trying to get back with you? Mm -mm. Okay. Well, here's how I feel about it. Do you, do you have any evidence that the car was sabotaged? Actual evidence that the car was sabotaged? Mm -mm, just what the mechanics told me. I mean, I know that it's a, it's a what? A, a tw 2000, it's a 10 year old Honda Sonata, mm -hmm. Hyundai Sonata, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so it's got some mileage on it, mm -hmm. all right? And um, I, I don't know if you need a new engine because you just need a new engine. You know, it's, it's, it's served its purpose and it's time. I have mm -hmm. no idea. But if you don't have evidence of actual sabotage, and I know she's the kind that might actually think about sabotaging. I did think I, about I, it, because I, 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 I can it. tell that she may make decisions that that seem to get her um, satiated at the moment and regret later. Um, but without actual evidence of sabotage, that makes it a little hard. But I am gonna that whole five hundred dollar tow thing. I think was malicious, and I'm gonna deduct it, which means a sum judgment in favor of the plaintiff in the amount of two thousand seventy two dollars verdict for the plaintiff. So what do you think of that verdict as the plaintiff uh, triumphs over you here in court? It was fair. Mm -hmm. what, what went wrong in the relationship you two had? When did, it, when did you know it was going wrong? Uh, it, was, it had nothing to do with the car. It was just mm -hmm. other things. What do you think happened to the car? I don't know. I don't even really Give care. me something here. I don't know. It probably was bad anyway, just an old car. It was used. Still have any feelings left for her? No. All right. Right down there. All right. All right. So come on in here. Satisfied how this case winds up? Yep. All right. What do you think happened to you? You had a nice relationship at one time, right? Uh, in the beginning. It right. wasn't nothing nice. What did, what did you see in her at the beginning? I liked her personality. That's it. That's mm -hmm. all. Nothing else. Did something change? Uh, yeah. She what? started being a... <laughs> mm -hmm. But that's it. Harvey? Well, here's the deal. If you meet somebody and then all of a sudden they start asking you for money, you should not be embarrassed to draw the line. If you don't draw the line, there's a word for you and it's called sucker. That will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.